Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we make the Honda Monkey sound like a MotoGP bike. Cue the intro. Well, if you've been watching the craziness of this channel, you'll know that we have a Honda Monkey bike. And you'll also know that we race it against a person called The Sidekick, who we absolutely kick ass. But recently, a few times, he's beaten us. So as we're in lockdown in the UK and the weather is rubbish and we can't go out properly anyway, what I've decided to do is basically make the monkey bike into a race bike. And we said we're doing it in three stages and this is stage one. And what we've basically been waiting for is for a race exhaust to arrive. And we've ordered a Tenchi exhaust from Moto whatever it is. There's links in the other video for all that stuff. And basically it's the cheapest sort of sporty race exhaust that we can possibly find. And what we want to know is, is can it actually add more horsepower, give the bike a higher top end by changing it? So in this episode, this is exactly what we're going to do. The Tenchi exhaust has arrived. So we're going to go through a sound test of the old exhaust, a speed test of the old exhaust, what's all standard, and then we're going to put on the Tenchi. And once we put on the Tenchi, we're going to do it again. We're going to do a sound test and a speed test and see how many miles per hour we've actually gained on the top speed. And the whole mission is to kick the sidekick's butt. So ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, I'm just going to give you the stripping sound test, riding out as we go. Just to pre-warn you though, the weather here is pretty rubbish. It's been snowy, windy, cold and rainy, so we're limited a little bit on the filming. But hey, it's going to be fun. What else do you do on a rubbish day but make your bike into a race bike? So let's go. Well, here we go. We're about to come up to roundabout, and then we've got a long straight, a curve, and another long straight, about a mile and a half long, and we're going to gun it. Standard exhaust, see how quick it goes. Of course, I've picked beautiful snowy weather to do this in. It's light, it's just wet, but hey, we're here for the people, they're here for science, and we're here to see engineering at its best. Let's just see what this monkey bike can do. Come on, Sonny Jin, I'm going to tuck it, I'm going to give it as much chance as possible. I really want to see the speed difference between the exhaust. Come on, 44. Come on, standard exhaust, give it some beans. I reckon we'll sit around 54, 55. Come on, here we go. We're gunning it, people, we're gunning it. Pedal to the metal. Oh, it's cold around the willy. Come on. 53. 53, purring along, 52. Come on. Come on, keep going. Okay, a little bit of uphill, but what are we at? We're at 56 now, 55. Come on, Let's see what we can do. Come on, it's in around 52. Now, I always find with a standard exhaust, we can then sit anywhere between that sort of really at 50 and 60, normal around that 55. But come on, who cares it's raining? Let's just clean you up a little bit. Right. Here's the big straights, we're going to tuck in for this, okay? We're in top gear, we're full throttle. We're going to drop down one, actually, we're going to feed it in four first. Here we go, 55. 56. 56 miles per hour, going up one, slight downhill. 56. 56. 56, 57. Okay, between 56 and 57 is our top speed. We're going to be backing off now for the roundabout. 56 to 57. 55 to 57. Ah, we'll do a back hill run again. So that's both ways on this bad boy. Give it a little bit of a chance just to prove it's the average. It's supposed to be, it was supposed to be a nice weekend, then it changed to fix snow, and then we've ended up with this sleety kind of snowy wet weather. I only cleaned the monkey the other day, but who cares? This is for science. Right, power. Go, 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 go. Clean the screen, clean the screens. Right, here we go, clean the screens. Full power, full revs, tucking in, all the way. Oh, yes. And again, our tank's really low, so we're not adding any extra weight to this bad boy for four speed. Come on. 55. We're going to catch up with a tractor in a minute. 55. 56, 56 miles an hour, 57, come on, 
Come on, monkey, with your standardness. 57 miles an hour, people. We're bombing it. We're tucking in. We're taking full race stance. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. 57 again. You beauty. Come on. 58, 59. 58, 59. 58, 59. Come on, get me 60. 60 miles an hour. 61. 61 tucked in. Full race stance. 61. Completely standard down this road in rubbish conditions. 61 miles per hour. Now I want to just point out that is not holding speed. That is some slight downhillage there as well. But this is a good test. Up, down, up, down. Maximum speed of 61. Holding still. A 55 to 56 maximum normal riding so 61 full race position like a trained spaniel okay so we're going to do a standard exhaust sound test we can give it a little bit of revs just get you a feel for what it sounds like as a standard bike before we put on the race bike so listen to this bad boy of euro 5 emission soundness Well, there's the sound. It's not exactly racing, but I do actually do quite like it and I like it quiet. It's got a little bit of a nice little sewing machine sound to it, but literally the standard exhaust is literally this. And the idea of it is, is to, we're gonna get rid of all of this rubbish and we're gonna put the sports exhaust on and hopefully the sound quality will be loads better. But there's only one way to find out. Let's start stripping this bike down. Okay, so the exhaust is off and this is pretty much, as you can see, it's off. It's all in bits all over the floor. Of course, my garage is super tidy and organized as always. Now, I'm just gonna give you your first look at the Tenshi exhaust, the race exhaust of what's gonna make this bike go supersonic. Okay, now check this out. Now I want to point out that there is no instructions with this whatsoever at all. It should be pretty simple. This isn't a how-to guide. Obviously this is all sped up with me putting it on. I'll probably make 20 million mistakes, but who cares? Let's stick this on and let's see what it sounds like. Another broken plate. Another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. Words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you Okay, so the Tenshi exhaust is fitted and I'm going to do its first sound test. It, it it doesn't fit brilliantly, I'm not going to lie. It is the bracket left put on is obviously a bit cheap. I feel like it should be a little bit further away. But at the same time, it's on. So check out this bad boy.
Okay, so we've got the Tenchi, the race can on, and now it's finally time to listen to its first ever sound. Let's expect big, let's expect racing. Whoa, listen to that. It is popping, it is banging. Oh, do you know what we've got to do? We've got to see if it's increased the speed, the final run, the final time of the crops, the bangs and the power. This is going to be good. Let's see how quick we can make this monkey bike go. Okay, so same thing again. I mean, listen to it already. It sounds absolutely amazing. I don't know if it's going to give me a headache on a long run, but it sounds like a race bike. So this is stage one. This is the exhaust. This is where we're going to go full beans down this road. Remember, we've got 55, 56 down. On the way back, slightly downhill, 61. Let's find out. Let's bean this bad boy. Listen to that. Come on. Up to 44. Up to 48. I'm going to tuck in like I did before. Give it its juice. All right, here we go. We're up to 54. 54, 55 again. 55, come on. We hit 56 for a split second a minute ago. 57, 58, 59. Oh, that's an improvement already, isn't it? Oh. Oh, it sounds different on my gears are wrong. All right, let's open up again. Let's see what we can do. It's sleety, snowy weather. Come on, 54. Tuck it in. 56. 57. Oh, that's an improvement this way. Come on. 57. 57. 57. Okay, that's a holding speed of 57, so we're holding 54, 55. We've gained kind of like two miles per hour. And probably one top end, but it was holding that little bit quicker. So the big test is the slightly, slightly downhill on the way back. Oh, and the ladies are gonna love the sound of this roaring monkey now. They are gonna be all over it. Right, here we go again. Let's beam this bad boy. Let's tuck in. Let's see what we can get out of it. Oh, come on. Up to 50. Come on. Come on. Come on, 54, 55. Come on, 56, 57. Holding at 57, 58. Last gear to go, come on. 58, come on Sunny Jim, get me there, 58, Fifty-nine. come on, 59, 59 to 60, come on, 60, 61, 61, 62, 62, 63, 63, oh yes, oh yes, Woo. that's a whole two mile an hour faster man, that's a bad boy, on a rubbish windy wet day, that is quicker. Wow. I mean, wow. I mean, it sounds incredible. It literally reminds me of being on a race bike. It doesn't go like a race bike, but it reminds me of being on a race bike. And it's even got a pop, pop, bang, bang if you decelerate quickly. I mean, I do like the sound of that. It makes it sound like literally some kind of massive race bike is going to go past you. People are going to turn around and go, what is that? It's awesome. But the 
whole point of doing this wasn't just to put a big smile on my face listening to that roaring sound. It was literally to see how many miles per hour we can get quicker out of the bike. Now it's a free stage like I said and this is only stage one and I was hoping for a little bit more than just two miles an hour faster but do you know what it held that speed a little bit quicker. It got there a little bit quicker as well and the most important thing is is that we managed to get a couple of miles per hour faster. I mean I was impressed with the top end of that. Not as impressed as I'd like to have been, but I'm still impressed. So that's stage one, and it's up to you if you want to do it. What you're getting is two different things out of that. You're getting a bike that's going to go a little bit quicker, sound a little bit more awesome, okay, a lot more awesome. And that literally, that holding speed when you're actually there, being a little bit faster. Now look, we're looking at me 56, 57, where we were really getting 54, 55. And then you're looking at kind of like that 62, 63 miles an hour, where we were lucky to hit 61. So it's a couple of miles an hour we're in it. And do you know what? It's a couple more miles an hour closer to kicking the sidekicks, but I can't wait for stage two, the putting on the air tape next to see what, if that increases another mile or two, then we're getting closer. Then of course we'll have the stage three with the sprockets for the final kind of go. And if it doesn't doesn't beat him, I'm not going to be peed off. Okay, I am. But hey, right now you can see the grin. That was really <laughs> exciting. It's a rubbish day and it's just made my day. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that crazy funness. And hey, we're getting there. I just want to turn around and say thank you for the people that have hit that like, that subscribe button and that bell button. Do you know what? I really appreciate it, guys. I appreciate all of my subscribers and thank you for watching this video. Also, a massive thank you to my patrons. These guys are absolutely awesome. They really support this channel. They're really helpful for this channel for giving us, you know, that chat and watching the videos first and seeing what they think. It's really cool. If you're interested in becoming a person that supports this channel, please click on the Patreon link below. You get your name in the credits and you get to see nearly majority of the videos first, if not an entire series first sometimes. So there you go. I really appreciate that. And of course, there is a merchandise shop for all the helmet head merchandise if you want to check that out as well. I just want to turn around and say right now though, what's really important and they're the three most important things in life and of course that's eat pies ride motorcycles and be happy i will see you in the next crazy adventure on helmet head bye bye for now